I know, excitement. Oh no, you can't go back. <laughs> Calm down, you're gonna get all tangled up. Ah, this is in the truck. <laughs> ah. Yes. Oh, look at you, you already got yourself tangled. Took you five, not even five seconds to get yourself all tore up. Come on, then hold on. You're gonna get yourself, look at you, you're gonna get yourself really tangled. Oh, Pumba. <laughs> okay, hold on. Pumba. <laughs> Boy, man, I haven't even got the car started. And you're all messed up. <laughs> what did you do? This is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go This is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Alright, let's try this again Hi everybody, my name is Robin and I'm part of Living Life's Journey. My husband is currently away on a uh, trip. Uh, he'll be back shortly. But I thought I would go ahead and give you guys a tour of the family camp located aboard Fort Belvoir in uh, the basically known as the National uh, Capital Region here aboard Fort Belvoir in Northern Virginia. So let me go ahead and take you on a cruise around how to get here, what to look at, um, what this place offers. More information will be available to you on the description bar, but I thought I would take you on a little cruise around the area, uh, show you how to get here, where the check-in office is and all that wonderful stuff, um, and give you some little tips and tricks about this park. So those that are maybe wanting to come here, maybe have never been here or been years to get here, uh, so you can be updated on the current information. So let's go ahead and let's get there. Come on. Oh, and I have my little, uh, he's not really little, but I have my buddy with me today. So we're going to go and have some fun, fun, fun. So I'm pulling out, I'm currently aboard uh, Fort Belvoir as we speak. This is where we're parked for the duration of time. Um, but let's get on with the road. stop right here and I'm going to give you a quick tip as you see we're coming uh, when you get off of Richmond Highway uh, or the one you're gonna be coming I uh, whether you're coming southbound or northbound you're gonna be coming into Tully Gate Tip number two, uh, the gate splits into two distinctive rows. Here's what is a difference between those two rows uh, when you're coming around the bend to get into Fort Belvoir. The far left lane is for those with active military ID cards, active valid military ID cards. That means everybody in your vehicle has active military or DOD active ID cards. If everybody in your vehicle does not have active military access, you need to be in the far right lane. So if you're trying to get on base and you don't, you all have all military retired benefits or DOD benefit ID cards, then you're being your left lane, you're fine. But if you don't, if you have family and they only have state driver's licenses, then they need, you need to be in the far right lane. When you went to go get that, your current ID or driver's license and they asked, do you want the real ID, which is more expensive, you may have opted not to. That means you're going to need to bring an other form of ID card, an ID. Uh, if you have a passport, bring that as well. Because if you do not, you'll be denied access to the base. As you make that right turn, you're gonna see a gas station on your left-hand side. Just to give you a heads up, that particular gas station does not offer diesel fuel whatsoever. This base also does not offer propane cell at all. 
there is a propane up, uh, gas station up the road uh, down south past the Food Lion at the Shell gas station. They do sell propane, but this base does not offer propane fuel. And there's only one gas station on this base that offers uh, diesel fuel. And that is the one near the base exchange and the base commissary. When you make that right lane coming down uh, the road to head towards, I can't remember the road right now, I'll put the information below. Um, you're gonna come, it makes that weird wacky split. There is a steep hill that you're gonna be going down to get into this RV park. It's intense, especially when the snow and the ice hits during the winter, it's a very steep incline. Lately, they've been doing an amazing job keeping it salted and cleared up, but it can and is a steep, steep grade to go down, uh, especially when you're carrying a load. So watch that. Um, with this particular facility, this is where it gets kind of weird as far as what they want you to do for check-in. When you come down that hill, they want the hill. They want you to make a right-hand turn to check in at a separate location from where the RV park is located. A little tip that me and my husband did when we got here was to, I got out of the vehicle and I walked to the check, to check into the facility. Uh, Why he went to where the cabin is, a little staging area, which I think was the original offices at this facility. He staged the RV there while he was waiting me for me to complete the check-in and to find out what site we're gonna go to. Once I got that information, I came back to the RV and then we went through, got the access code to get into the gate, which this place is gated. And so that's a real great op you know, option about this facility. And we went in through this park. This particular RV, um, RV park is a, I would say, is situated like a, a very large eight, figure eight. Um, one up at the top, one big circle at the top, one big circle at the bottom with a divide in the middle that allows you to go in both directions on the outer circles and then only one direction in the center. Um, also, this facility has a bathhouse up located on the upper left hand side that has uh, two showers, on, uh, three showers on one side and one shower on the other side, as well as two washers and two dryers in the center. This place is well maintained, they take good care of it. Each site has a concrete pad. Uh, they are kind of wonky to the side. They're not straight off this way, but they are concrete. It's easy to level, so it's not that difficult. Uh, you just gotta figure out which way it's tilted. Each site has 50 and 30 amp plug-ins. You have water and a uh, dump. It's, they're all full hookups on each site. There is a cabin for rent, which I think was the old, like I said before, I think it was the old main office. They converted into a cabin. This campground is open year round. Uh, it is very difficult to get into this facility. So the trick is to keep calling and, and hope that somebody actually picks up the phone. On Mondays, their offices are closed. The heavy season in this area is spring, spring and summer. It's very difficult for that. And this, they do allow 60, day, 60 days. And if there is an availability at the end of your 60 days, the last day of your 60 days, so, and there is an available opening, they'll allow you for an additional 30 days, giving you basically up to 90 days to stay on post. The caveat to that, that doesn't mean you're gonna stay in the same location you will move to different sites. We have moved eight times since we've been here. It's just how the ball bounces if you wanna stay at this park. This is a beautiful kept facility. They take wonderful care of their surroundings. Everybody loves being here in the community around here. Everybody is very helpful and courteous and kind. Uh, there's families here, there's retirees here, there's active duty on, on board here. So it's a beautiful park. I love the setup. I love the community. And I just enjoy being a, a part of this out here. It's a, just a beautiful environment. You're surrounded by all this greenery and the woods and the water's right there. And, just, and you hear the birds and it's beautiful out here. So I really do love it out here. 
So welcome to the Na National Capital Region. This is Fort Belvoir's family campground and it is beautiful and I hope you, if you're up here, enjoy the opportunity to be aboard Fort Belvoir and all the opportunities that they have available. Come on, take a board. Thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, me and Pumbaa had a, a fun time taking a cruise around the base. You guys take care of each other, love one another, and we will see you guys soon.